hurts more than watching your marriage shatter. Take me and Felicia. I couldn't love a woman more than I loved her, but it wasn't enough. I had to let her go. I survived. We both did. I'll go back. This is different. Patrick didn't abandon me. In fact, I abandoned him when I went to Africa. I don't want to listen to you blame yourself. No, no, I, I'm not doing that. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to understand my part in all this. You know, Patrick stood by me when I had postpartum depression. I was irrational. I shut him out emotionally. I came pretty close to cheating on him. You were recovering from an illness. Patrick made a conscious choice to sleep with another woman. And the minute he sobered up, he regretted it. Oh, so that's the excuse, because he was drunk? No, no, he didn't make any excuses. And, you know, Lisa, she pursued him relentlessly. Every time she'd rub up against him, she would remind him how he was in danger of becoming boring. And I, 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 I tried to play that game. I tried to keep up, but I couldn't. I would rather be at home with my family than at Jake's getting wasted. So, sorry if that's boring. Look, I'm not going to listen to you justify Patrick cheating on you. I'm not. I'm just trying to understand how all of this happened. You know, I, I used to tell myself that cheating was a deal breaker. That if he was unfaithful, I would kick him out on his ass. But, I don't know. I'm just not sure. Maybe it's too soon to be calling divorce lawyers. This is on me. I might lose my family and I got nobody to blame but myself. Okay, you're, you're owning it, right? That, that's a good first step. I need to get my wife's trust back. That's the most important thing. I'll go to marriage counseling. I'll do whatever it takes. Yeah, well, your problems are a lot worse than mine, bro. If this is your idea of helping me, it needs a little work. Well, if you want me to call you a selfish jerk, I will. We can all join the pity party, but I, I promise you, that's not going to get you what you want. Which actually leads me to my next question. What do you want? I want to turn back the clock to the night I lost my mind and slept with Lisa. That's what I want. Right. Well, uh, what's your second choice? I want my wife to stop hurting because of what I did. I want my family back. I love my wife more than I think I realize. And I can't let her leave me. All right, man, you need, you need to just you need to take a step back and you need to breathe because you can't force Robin to be with you. You can't smother her. You need to just earn her trust back the way you did the first time. So. Go to couples therapy if you think that's going to help. Yeah, and go to individual therapy if you want. That's fine, but my advice is not that you ask for it. The only way you're going to figure out what you really want is when you understand why you did what you did. I just left Robin. Yeah, I'm going to go see her in a minute. Did you know she's contemplating divorce? Yeah. And I'm going to do everything in my power to try and convince her otherwise. Yeah, of course you will. Patrick, Patrick. I despise you for cheating. But I also know you love Robin and Emma. And despite all the pain you've caused, there are things about you I respect. So I'm asking you to accept responsibility. I have. Don't put Robin through any more pain. Don't drag this out and go through the motions of counseling. Like it's gonna, you know, make it go away like it never happened. It won't. Look, Mac, with all due respect, this is between me and my wife. All due respect. You cheated on Robin. It's time to let her go. Man up. You owe Robin that. A clean, quick break. Okay, Dr. Scorpio? Yeah. 